What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of History Saver 1941. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right now. If you have not done it, I'm going to come look for you. Uh, I promise I am. But anyway, hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on. Get notified every time we upload. It's as easy as that. It's as easy as one, two, three. It's as easy as smashing that bell notification button and let it go ding a ling a ling. So, there we go. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get into this announcement prior to today's awesome, amazing video, which is featuring a brand new product from Minotaur Trading Company, Minotaur MRE, MRE Nation. Black Doll Bob sent us over this item or items. And man, it's amazing. The stuff he's coming out with is just absolutely rocking the world. He's on fire. Can't wait to show this to you. It's going to be a pretty cool historic product. Historic product. There we go. That's the best name for it because that's exactly what it is, is history in the bag. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. But before we get into that, I have a big announcement. Guys, as you know, we use a lot of high-tech equipment for our filmings. We, we got action cameras. We've got um, DSLRs. We've got um, major cameras, the big cameras, you name it. I've I mean, we use some pretty high-tech stuff. But I've been wanting to step that game up for the last few years. You know, regardless of all the work I do with histor uh, history films and his, um, history documentaries, I want to do kind of some of my own stuff. I want to get myself rolling out there, get my career going, and uh, get more engaged in it. I want to bring history to the younger generations and the people who don't know anything about history and I want to do it correctly. I want to do historically correct content. And what we have done is went out and got a Black Magic Pocket Cinema and this thing shoots at 6K, 4K, 1080. We've got every major accessory known to man for this thing. We've got cranes, we got jibs, we got gimbals, we've got teleprompters, we got lights, we got monitors, we've got lenses out the yin yang, we've got filters, we've got Oh, Lord. I don't know. We've got a lot. But um, this is used by major Hollywood production companies. This thing, when you actually see it for the first time here on the channel, when I expose it to you guys, you're not going to know what hit you. This thing is amazing. And we're going to be able to do some awesome stuff. We've got a lot of professional filmings we're going to be doing with this. Some of those I can't show on the channel just because of contracts, copyrights, all that kind of stuff. But what I do have planned is some independent films of my own that I have partnered with several other people that we want to do uh, some World War II themed stuff and it's going to be some short films, some independent films, whatever you want to call it. You will see these on the channel and I cannot wait to show you guys those but I want to inter introduce you to you right now, if I can talk, Foxhole Films. It is our new brand for our new production company. No, the channel's name's not changing. We're still History Saver 1941, always will be. But when you see these short videos, these professionally shot films, whatever it may be, it will have that Foxhole name on it. So you guys can see that for yourself right here on the channel. Can't wait to share it with you. And uh, it's going to be amazing. But with that being said, guys, sit back, enjoy. Let's get into today's video. Let's go. Run for your life. I'll cover you.
Okay guys, we are out on location at a very cool site called Fort Blakely, Alabama. You've seen several of my videos here before, and I couldn't think of a better site to unveil Minotaur Trading Company's new, brand new addition to their MREs, except for here. This site corresponds with this product, and this product has a long line of history, especially in military rationing. And their new product is none other than hardtack. And guys, this is nothing more than a simple hard cracker. And we're gonna get into the history of hardtack right now. Hardtack is a simple type of biscuit cracker made from flour, water, and sometimes salt. Hardtack is inexpensive and long lasting. It is used for the substance in the absence of perishable foods, commonly during long sea voyages land migrations, and military campaigns. Along with salt pork, hardtack was a standard ration for many militaries and navies throughout the 17th, 18th, and 19th centuries. Other names for hardtack throughout history include Anzac wafers, brewis, cabin bread, dog biscuit, hardtack, molar breakers, pilot bread, sea biscuit, sea bread, sheet iron, ship's biscuit, ship biscuit, tooth dullers, worm castles, and many others. Some early physicians associated most medical problems with digestion. Hence, for substance and health, eating a biscuit daily of hardtack was considered good for one's nutrition. As the biscuits would soften and become more platable with time due to the exposure to humidity and other weather elements, the bakers of the time made biscuits as hard as possible. Because it was baked hard, it would stay intact for years if kept dry. For long voyages, hardtack was baked four times rather than the more common two and prepared six months before sailing. Because it is dry and hard, hardtack, when properly stored and transported, will survive rough handling and extreme temperature changes. Unmoistened hardtack was inedible and nearly dense enough to stop a musket ball. To soften, hardtack was often dunked in brine, coffee, or some other liquid or cooked into a skillet mill. In 1588, the daily allowance on board a Royal Navy ship was one pound of hardtack plus one gallon of small beer. Hardtack was crumbled or pounded fine and used as thickener, which was a key ingredient in New England seafood chowders from the late 1700s. In 1801, Hosiah Bent began a breaking, baking operation in Milton, Massachusetts, selling water crackers or biscuits made of flour and water that would not deteriorate during long sea voyages from the port of Boston. These were also used extensively as a source of food by the gold prospectors who migrated to the gold mines of California in 1849. Since the journey took months, hardtack, which could be kept a long time, was stored in the wagon trains. Bent's company later sold the original hardtack crackers used by the troops during the American Civil War, and the J.H. Bent Company remains in Milton and continues to sell those items to Civil War reenactors and others today. During the American Civil War in 1861-1865, three-inch by three-inch hardtack was shipped from Union and Confederate storehouses to the troops. Civil War soldiers generally found their rations to be unappealing and joked about the poor quality that the hardtack and the song Hardtack Come Again No More. The song was sung to the tune of the Stephen Foster song, Hard Times Come Again No More, and featured lyrics describing the hardtack rations as being old and very wormy and causing many stomachs sore. Some of this hardtack have been stored from the 1846 and 1848 Mexican-American War. With insect infestation common and improperly stored provisions, soldiers would break up the hardtack and drop it into their morning coffee. This would not only soften the biscuit, but the insects, mostly weevil larvae, would float to the top and soldiers could skim off the top of the coffee and insects and resume consumption. Some men also had a tendency to turn hardtack into a mush by breaking it up with blows from their rifle butts. They then added water. If the men had a frying pan, they could cut the mush into a lumpy cake. Otherwise, they dropped the mush directly on top of the coals of their campfire and cooked it that way. They also mixed hardtack with brown sugar, hot water, and sometimes whiskey to create what they called a pudding, and they served that as a dessert. Hardtack remained an important part of the Royal Navy Sailor's Diet until introducing the canned foods 
Canned meat was first marketed in 1814 and was preserved beef in tins that was officially introduced to the Royal Navy rations in 1847. Today, hardtack is still found among modern store shelves and products. The indestructible Polish SU-1 hardtack in rations is one example, along with Canada who produces purity hard bread and America who still produces the Sailor Boy pilot bread with most products being shipped to Alaska. All right, don't mind the background noise. It's just a cruise here at Blakely State Park, cutting grass and doing some maintenance. So we'll just work around it. And like I said, this is just a great fitting place to introduce this new product from Minotaur Trading Company. And Hardtech is something I've been looking forward to in rations for quite some time. The Polish biscuits that we had talked about is, as most of you know, if you're in a ration and viewing community, one of the hardest biscuits known to man modernly. And it is a great example of hardtack, but for American military hardtack and the way it looked during American Civil War, I think this product will shock you and how accurate it actually is. And I can't wait to get into this. So this is made from wheat flour and salt. So this is made from wheat flour and salt and is 140 calories. So it comes in the traditional Minotaur Trading Company packaging. And uh, let's break her open to see what this biscuit looks like. Wow. You guys, check this out. If this doesn't look like an original piece of hardtack, I don't know what does. And uh, the smell, well, it doesn't have a smell. Um, just smells like flour and Black Doll Bob done an excellent job on recreating hardtack. And this stuff, I guarantee you, is hard. And it's meant to be hard. It's meant to be stored and be used for a long period of time. This stuff could probably stay on the shelf. I don't know. I've got a piece of original Civil War hardtack in my collection that is still pretty much in this condition. And... Um, yeah, so this stuff, you can look at 100 years plus. Black Dog Bob's name will still be around on this hardtack. So uh, let's give it a try. We're just going to try to eat it plain, which is probably a stupid idea. And hope to God we don't break a tooth here. It's not working. Um, there we go. Haha. Now, one of the tricks of this stuff is, is one piece of this, you're chilling this all day. <laughs> you're not really supposed to eat it straight like this. The way this is eaten is dumped in coffee. Is the main way. The way this stuff is usually eaten is dumped in coffee. Um, you just dunk it in your coffee, leave it in for a few minutes, take it out just like a cookie that would be dipped in milk and it should be soft enough to eat. And of course, this is not, does not have the bow weevils and insects in it that we talked about uh, during the history of heart attack. But um, Black Dog Bob, I'm, I'm sure he could probably add those in, but it wouldn't really be um, the uh, Food Administration approved <laughs> version of foods. So I'm sure they wouldn't appreciate that. But you, I mean, if you leave this stuff sitting around long enough, if you wanna get the whole experience, I'm sure some weevils will attach yourself to it and you go right ahead because I'm not doing that. But anyway, um, this stuff tastes very good, the piece I got. Um, just enough salt in it. And he has come really close to implementing the taste and look of original hardtack. Um, I don't think he could come any closer than this. So this is very cool adding the rations and this stuff is a survival biscuit that can last you for days. All you need is a couple of these. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna pour some water on this. And I wanna test to see if this softened it up. Mm, a little bit. Okay. You pour some water on it, it's edible. And it actually tastes very good. Um, Great version of heart attack here. Uh, 
pretty cool. But great version of hard tech. And uh yeah. Pouring the water on it work. Let's soak in for a moment. It sucks the water in. And it's edible. It has a really good taste to me. I love bread. I'm a bread fan. Like Dog Bob, you went above and beyond with this product. Guys, if you want to try a piece of history, get you some of this hard tack from Minotaur Trading Company, Minotaur MRE, MRE Nation. And I guarantee you, this is eating a piece of history. Now, let's just soften up a little bit. That pouring the water on it worked great. Um, you just pour some on there. Let it sit for a minute. There you go. You got an edible cracker. And this will help fill your belly up and make you not hungry. But here we are. Now, we have one more item we want to avail to you for Minotaur Trading Company. It's brand new. Something I am looking forward to is trying this and this peach drink mix. This is um, got 90 calories in it. Ingredients is dextrose sugar, citric acid, less than 2% natural and artificial flavor. Um, I see self, self made. I don't know, potassium, ascorbic acid, vitamin C, sucralose, yellow number five, uh, six, and red 40. This has potassium and vitamin C in it, which is key in a survival situation, getting some vitamins back in your body. Let's open it up. Let's give this brand new drink from Minotaur Training Company a try. Now, it's designed to be drank straight out the package. You've got a bottom here that comes out into a settable cup you open the top up just like so oh man it smells awesome i'm a big peach fanatic so i couldn't wait to try this pour you some water in leave enough space huh. i didn't do it quite good enough but leave enough space to um close it back up and since it's resealable, you can just shake it in a bag. It will leak a little bit, maybe. That's okay. I probably didn't seal it good enough. Okay. There you go. You have your drink. Quick, in the field. You don't have to dirty up a canteen cup. And um, here's your look at it, if you can see inside the bag. Yeah, well, that's good enough. Let's, let's give it a try. Peach drink from Minotaur Trading Company. Oh, wow. This is so good. This is awesome. Wow. Let's pair it with a heart attack here. Okay. Wow. Very good. very good combination of the two and guys you've got to try one of these as well peach drink mix if you're a peach fan man this is awesome it's so refreshing and on a hot day like today it's 100 degrees out here i'm burning up honestly especially out here in the woods on this old civil war battlefield in the trenches it's very hot and uh, this just fits right in your pack Right in your survival kit. Takes up no room. Um, and it's a quick go to drink. It helps cool you down, gives you uh, vitamins back in your body. I'm still chewing a heart attack. And uh, it's very good. Hats off to Black Dog Bob and everyone at Minotaur Trading Company for some awesome products. And we have more brand new products to try from Minotaur Trading Company. We're gonna put those in some more videos later on the channel. But with that being said, guys,
you got to check them out. Render Charge Training Company. Get you some heart attack. Get you some peat strength. Get you some awesome rations, survival gear. Everything would be cool. And you guys will have a heck of a uh, setup. So, with that being said, guys, thank you for tuning in. Go check out MineralCharGeTrainingCompany.com. Thank you to Black Dog Bob, all the team there. And I got to chew this hard egg up, swallow it. So I'm going to quit talking. And until next time, stay safe, keep preserving history. We'll see you next time.